All right, 2007 uh, BMW X3 uh, 6L45 Trans. Uh, the car came to me um, with the complaint of no upshift. Uh, at times, did not move. I believe forward. Uh, also, when you put the car into drive, it'll engage, and as you start to drive off, it'll drop into neutral, and you'll have nothing. All right. There were some codes present. Uh, I had codes in the trans controller uh, 56 BF clutch gears one two three four neutral test 56 BD uh, gears second and sixth neutral test and I also had a 56 C5 shift valve B stuck in off position okay so the first thing that I did which I honestly didn't think was the problem was I dropped the pan because I wanted to inspect the manual valve because you know these 6L45s have a big issue with the manual valve breaking. Um, I honestly didn't think that was it but I just wanted to check. All right so since the manual valve was not broken we went the next step further and we dropped out the valve body. So I have the valve body apart on the bench now and I want to show you what I found. So this here is the 6L45 and this here is the 6L80. We're having runs on the six-speed transmissions. Uh, so I just want to get a little closer here and this problem I see a lot with the 6L80, 6L90s and which is the number one check wall actually uh, shrunk down and is stuck in in the plate which I'm going to show you guys. I just want to get a close-up shot of that. So pretty much what we're going to do is I'm going to take the check balls out and I'm going to replace them with the Torlon check balls and get that one out of the plate. We're going to clean it up, put it back together, put it back in the car, and this guy should be uh, all fixed up. So let me just get a little closer here and um, I will show you what I found in the separator plate of the valve body. All right, so here is the separator plate. There is the check ball that shrunk down and is jammed in the hole here. Wow, that's really in there. Okay, all right, so that is, looking at a legend, this is blocking a hole that says drive one through six. So here are, you can see the difference there. I mean, that thing really shrunk down. So again, I'm going to replace all of the check balls. Uh, with the Torlon ones to avoid this problem from happening again. And that's about it. So I'm just going to clean this up and put this back together and install the valve body back in the car. And uh, call the customer and give them the good news. So again, this is very common. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this on a 6L45. Okay, the common, the most common problem that I see are the manual valves breaking. Okay, the car at that point, uh, when the manual valve breaks, you know, it, it'll, it'll uh, affect reverse as well. So your car may not move at all. I actually just did one about two weeks ago. I put a, uh, a manual valve in it. And, um, this is the first time I'm seeing this, so I got to get myself a set of check balls here and I'm just going to go through the valves, make sure everything is free, and put it back together. So I just wanted to share this with you guys 07 BMW X3. And we had issues with forward, and I found the number one check ball had shrunk down and it was stuck in right in the plate there. So, all right guys, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and we will see you next one.